This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, this is the second lecture on bank reconciliations. In the first lecture, I went through the terminology uh, and uh, explained why the bank statement might show a different figure than the uh, cash account. And our job uh, is to make sure that we can explain the difference between the two, that certainly that we correct any errors, obviously, in the cash account or however it might be in the bank statement. But remember these timing differences where there's not a mistake, but they should explain the difference. So can you look at the example on the last page of this uh, chapter? It says, at 31st December 2007, the balance on the cash account was 11,820, debit. So debit balance in the cash account means we've got money, it's an asset. The balance on the bank statement was 15,000 credit. Well, uh, remember, the bank does things the other way around. So the credit balance in the bank statement means that we have got money in the bank, but the bank shows 15,000 we investigated and the reasons for the difference were as follows. Bank charges of 20. Well, what must that mean? Surely banks are very clever. The bank is one of the few people who charges you money, but they actually take the money without sending you a bill first. So the bank has made charges of 20. They'll have taken the money out of the bank. But I didn't know about it till I got the statement. I haven't entered it, but of course I am going to have to. So let's open up our cash account and make sure we get that right. Uh, we've got a balance at the moment of 11,820. It differed from the bank. One reason was bank charges. Well, if that mean, meant the two were different, it can only mean the bank has to already taken the money, but I haven't entered it because I didn't know. Well, of course, we've got to enter it. It's a payment. We'll credit the cash account. In these que uh, questions, it doesn't really matter where the debit is, but, you know, maybe with a debit bank charges account. Another reason things were different, a payment of 1200 had been entered in the cash account as 2100 So in arriving at that balance of 11820 we'd entered 2100 as a payment, so we'd credited with 2100 We should have only credited with 1200 So how are we going to correct it? Surely to bring that down to 1,200, we need to debit by the difference. If I debit with 900, that'll put it right. So debit cash 900, correction of error. Three, a check for 200 has been dishonoured. Now remember, I said in the previous lecture that these only relate to checks we've received. We've received 200, we've debited cash. However, we find out a week, two weeks later, the bank tells us that in fact we never got any money. The person who was paying us didn't have any money. So what am I going to do? We haven't had the 200, we need to remove it. To remove it, we'll credit cash 200. Dishonoured check. Uh, I said earlier that these sorts of questions, I'm not really bothered where the double entry is, but out of interest, you see, you paid me 200 because you owed me 200. I would have had receivables of 200. I get your cheque and I think you've paid. So I debit cash and credit your account. 
balance is zero. And normally that's the end of it. However, I now find out that we haven't actually had any money at all. So we credit cash to cancel that 200. And I'll delete you because you still owe 200. Now, uh, I'll then try and get the money off you. Uh, maybe you just made a mistake. If it turns out I'm never going to get the money, then maybe we've an irrecoverable debt. But of course, we've dealt with that step. That's another story. Anyway, back to the question. There were unpresented checks. Well, um, assuming you understood me in the previous lecture, this isn't a, a mistake. It's this timing difference. So there's no error here. You want to make any adjustment. And similarly, lodgements have not yet appeared. Lodgements not credited. Again, that's not a mistake. So, what's the correct balance on the cash account? Uh, 12,500. Of course, that still doesn't agree with the bank statement. The bank statement shows 15,000. But we should now be able to explain the difference. Uh, it should be due to these timing differences. So let's do a little statement to make sure we can explain the difference. It's called the bank reconciliation statement. It's a little statement just proving that we can explain the difference. We always start with the balance on the bank statement. Which is 15,000. There are unpresented checks. Well, although they've not yet appeared, they will appear later on the bank statement, and when they do appear, that balance will reduce. So we subtract unpresented checks. Six thousand five hundred. That will bring the balance down. It may not happen until next week, but ultimately it will reduce the balance. And similarly, item five, these lodgements haven't yet appeared. We've paid money into the bank, uh, but this not yet appeared. It will appear, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. And when it does appear, the balance will go up. Lodgements not yet credited. Four thousand. And does that now check? Well, 15 less, 6.5 plus, gives 12,500, which should be the balance per the cash account. Is it? Yes, it is. There we are. So, I hope that's not too bad. A uh, couple of things before I leave it. First of all, do be careful about the bank statement. Remember, here it's a credit balance, so it means we've got cash. Had it been a debit balance, it would have meant it's sort of negative cash. Be very, very careful there. Uh, secondly, uh, something to have a go at yourself. Come back to this example yourself um, in a few days' time. But remove from the question uh, the balance on the bank statement. In fact, remove it now, you know, get a pen. Remove it completely so you can't read it. If you ever need to check, there's an answer at the back of the notes.
But then what's uh, good practice to check you've got it is to come back to this question in a few days' time and see if you can calculate what the balance on the bank statement is. You know, it's no harder, but uh, there's a bit of working backwards. It's very easy to make silly mistakes. So I really would, you know, get a pen, cross out that 15,000 so you can't read it in the question, and then make a note to come back in a day or two and see if you can work out what it was. Um, it was 15. Uh, finally, in real life, uh, things are a, a lot harder. Because in real life, of course, nobody presents you with a list of mistakes. So in real life, you have to start checking from cash account to bank statement to find these unpresented checks. There would like to be several of them. So you'll be ticking off, oh, that's appeared, that hasn't appeared, this hasn't appeared, that hasn't appeared. And the same with the lodgements. Then you'll see if it will reconcile. Twelve and a half, but at that stage, oh, the cash account still shows 11,820. And then, of course, in real life, you'll realise there are mistakes. And you'll have to start checking cash account bank statement every entry until you find the mistake, and that takes time. And that's why in real life, every business will do with this at least once a month, more often once a week. Because the more often you're doing this check, the fewer entries you're going to have to check when, when you're finding mistakes. Anyway, that's in real life. We're more worried about exams. <laughs>